Hi there, and welcome to Fusion Pilates Podcast. My name is Casey Hurt, and today we're gonna be talking a little bit about lower body work. Now, what's at the bottom of our lower body is our feet. So we're gonna do a little bit of very, very simple, deceptively simple exercises to innervate the feet. Now, uh, most of the time people don't think about uh, how they flex and point their feet until we ask them to. And you might see a lot of people with weakness around the ankles. This is an absolutely brilliant way to get the arches of the feet to activate, as well as all the musculature that surrounds the lower leg. Now, a few setup things. You wanna be able to sit up nice and tall on your sitting bones. Sometimes I have people on the Cadillac with their legs hanging off. Um, they can also do this at home, which is really nice if they sit at the top of the stairs and have their feet hang off. That's a wonderful place to do this. So, hands are gonna go onto the kneecaps, not for any other reason, but it's good to be cognizant of where your legs are in space, if they're internally rotating or externally rotating. So, when I have hands on the knees, I definitely know where they are a little bit easier than if there's nothing there. Now, we wanna keep a nice parallel leg position, and I call this opening and closing the feet. So I wanna close the feet like I'm making a fist with them, right? Same principle. And then I wanna open them nice and wide, keeping a supple knee. And then I'm gonna close and open. And now I wanna close and hold. Now, like I said, this looks really easy, but this can be difficult. Many, many people will go into a little bit of an arch spasm, so it shows how much they need the work. Now, once I have this kind of fist feeling with the feet, I'm gonna start to point and flex, keeping that fist feeling. So I'm fighting off a foot cramp in my left foot. A little bit harder to do. Now, a lot of people, this is like rubbing the belly, patting the head. So if they're having a hard time flexing the feet or even pointing the feet with the toes curled under, you can take a piece of tissue that are rolled up and you give them something to hold on to. It helps them to make a little bit more sense of what's being asked of them, even in the flex, okay? But if they can do it without it, even better. So not only do we wanna do this flex and point, we also want to pedal the feet, doing two different things. We can also have them go in and out, and I wanna actually space out my legs a little bit, in and out. This was actually really difficult. And then, of course, circles all the way around, both directions. And then in between, it's really good to take a break and a nice flex. So again, you might feel some cramps. You might even go all the way into a calf cramp, but the more you do it, the, the feet really start to recognize how much we need to access the arch here. This is a wonderful thing to do for your elderly clients too, so that they can get more mobility and strength so that they can pick up their feet easier. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you soon.